Hi, and welcome to Idle News Watch for Year One. I'm Josh Matthews. Tensions are running high in the retail sector as consumer confidence continues to fall. We're less than a week out from the election, and the campaign in Shell Harbour has turned fierce. For almost a decade, the Wollongong community have been getting behind this Planet Ark event. It's that success that you can see behind me, which is preserving this natural habitat for future generations. In international news, a number of key offshore suppliers of the domestic smartphone industry have been subject to child labour revelations. The last days of the election campaign are heating up in Wollongong. Lord Merrill hopeful and Ward 1 candidate Greg Petty brought in a familiar face today. But it's at the Innovation Campus where researchers at the ARC Centre of Electromaterial Science are working on muscle and nerve regeneration. Domestic economic sentiment has recovered considerably this year with strong future growth forecasts leading the RBA to increase interest rates. Yeah. The truck driver is calling on all candidates to disclose their political donations before Saturday's election. Despite recent sackings of Blue Scope Steel workers, there's some light at the end of the tunnel for the unemployed in the Illawarra. The first I3Net Illawarra Manufacturing Showcase has brought some of the biggest businesses to the region. In international news, severe natural disasters are currently affecting both Asia and South America with some of the most severe floods in decades. This is the site of the proposed $10 million development. It would be home to more than 30 aged care blocks, helping to cater for Kayama's housing shortage and ageing population. But today, not the result the developer was hoping for. It's an issue that strikes right at the heart of Australians following the recent Skype sex scandal that rocked the Australian Defence Force. UOW will now host more such seminars that resonate with the community in the coming months. Josh Matthews, UOW TV.